I'm Bonnie from ExpressionsVinyl.com and today I want to teach you a new method. It's called a knockout method. Also on the silhouette uh, it's referred to as subtract. And so let's begin. I'll show you on my silhouette how to create a really fun um, mascot with a logo inside of it. So let's begin here. So first of all, let's talk about font for just a minute. I really like this impact font when I'm doing something like a knockout because you want your letters to be very close together. And we're going to make this even bigger here. You want your letters to be really uh, close together because we are going to take this cougar image and we're going to stick it inside of our letters. So one way to get your letters closer together is you can use this character spacing down here and see how it will just move my letters as close or as far as I want. So I'm moving my letters closer together, but now as I look at this I feel like the space between the I and the N is a little bit bigger than the space between the P and the I. So I'm actually going to ungroup these letters. And one thing I could do if I wanted is to manually move it if I click on each letter manually. Or another thing I can do is select all of these letters and go over into my transform panel on the right. And if I click this horizontal spacing, now it is actually going to make sure that they are all equally spaced. All of my letters are equally spaced there. So that's what I want. They're really close together, but they're all equally spaced. Now I'm going to group those right back together. And I'm going to make it even bigger. Another, another thing that I want to do in this is just to make my letters pop out, I'm going to add a offset to it. And so I just want a small offset and I'm going to make that offset black. Let's change my other letters here to white and my offset is going to be black. Now those letters are really popping out at us. And my cougar that I'm going to put in here, I'm going to move it to the top. We're going to put my cougar blue because that is the school colors. Blue and white. Royal blue. Okay. So this is where I want my cougar to be. And wherever you can see this black on these lines, we're going to cut that part out. And we're going to um, kind of like cookie cutter that part out. And we're going to add this blue cougar right in. So I am going to duplicate, take my white that says Repin and my blue cougar. And I'm going to select both of those two images and I'm going to duplicate them. And I'm just going to move those right down below in my workspace. So up on my original one, I'm going to select that white repin and the blue cougar. And I'm going to use this subtract all underneath modify, subtract all. And you can see if I pull this cougar out, you can see exactly what it did. It subtracted the cougar out of that white part. Now I'm going to do the opposite thing with this one that I duplicated down here. I'm going to sub, uh, select the repin and I'm going to select the cougar. This time instead of subtracting, I'm going to underneath modify, I'm going to crop it. And now you can see it cut all of the white part out and it just left the cougar. Now I'm going to group that whole thing together. And now we can move it right back up into our image. 
And at this part, you really want to zoom in as close as you can so that you can use your arrow keys and get that exactly lined up where you want it to be. So that looks pretty good right there. And if I zoom back out, look, doesn't that look cool? I love it. So now I'm going to take this word up here, my always, and I'm going to change this font to LD Elegant Bold. It's just a nice script font. I'm going to change it to that same color as my cougar. And we're just going to make that a little bit bigger. And put that on top as well. I think I also want to offset this word so that it also pops out. So, and I'm also going to show you, see how this Y goes into my uh, word repin. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that same exact thing. The cookie cutter or the uh, knockout, we're going to do that same thing with this. So let me add that offset. And I'll change that offset to black. Now you can see it even better how it has um, gone down into my other word. I'm going to just move it over a little bit. Okay, so I am going to take this black offset of my word always and select that. And I'm going to select the word repin in the white. So I've selected those two things. And if I go up into my modify, and subtract all, you can see as I pull my word repin out, you see how it subtracted that Y that went into the P. You can see how it subtracted. That's exactly what I wanted it to do so that there's not so many layers on my final project. So now the last thing I'm going to do is at this point I haven't combined these two black offsets together yet. And so if I was to cut this as it was, this Y from the always would, the black part would still cut into the black offset of Repin. So I'm going to select the two offsets and I'm going to weld those together, put those on the bottom so you can still see and now I have got uh, my vinyl all ready to cut. Let me show you the pieces we've got here. We have the black underneath. That's all one piece. And we have the white. That's all one piece right there. And then since these two blues are the same color, I'm going to group those together and we have this other piece of all of the blues all together. So one final thing that I want to do on this one is I'm going to make one more big offset on the whole thing. So I'm just going to select this black offset and make even one more offset in a dark gray around the whole thing and that way it just is going to make the whole thing stand out a little bit more. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit on some of these uh, edit points. Okay. There we go. I love how that turned out. That looks really good. 
So now I actually have four pieces. I've also got this dark gray underneath that I'm going to cut out first. Okay, so I have cut out my images and I actually have already heat pressed on those offsets. So the next thing I'm going to do is heat press on my words. One of the reasons that I really like to do an offset when I am doing um, heat transfer is it helps me line up the letters. Then I don't have to worry so much about lining them up exactly or where I've placed them. I already kind of have a template that I'm lining them up against. So that's why I really, really like to use the offset whenever I do heat transfer. So I'm placing down my white and since I'm going to be putting another layer on top, I really just need to place this down for a couple of seconds, hold it down, and then we're just tacking this one on. And the next layer that we put on, we will put on for our full 10 seconds. And this is my final layer. The nice thing again about heat transfer is if I don't like exactly where I've put it, I can just take it up and keep trying to place it exactly where I want it. Okay, this one I'll place this one down for the full 10 seconds and we'll see how it turned out. See if this blanket keeps us warm during football games. Fantastic. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope that was, <coughs> I hope that was easy to understand how to do those knockouts. But if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you found this helpful, please like us on Facebook. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I hope you have a good day. Thanks. Bye.